Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Uh, in this video I'm going to continue the build on the Prusa MK3 printer. Uh, I'm going through step 5, the E-axis assembly. So let's continue after the intro. So on this step there is a lot of small parts and uh, if you have a cat make sure you don't allow it to interfere with the parts but uh, the first uh, part of this build is, is doing the idler assembly and um, that is uh, the first step or step two in this part place those square nuts into the plastic Then you have to put the bearing, there's a very small bearing, into the pulley. Uh, I think there are the same. There's actually one, uh, one uh, with a set screw uh, and one is without a set screw. Yeah, you have to use, uh, use the one without the lock screw in this part. So you place the bearing inside. And put put the part like this and the axle inside. Yeah, they say uh, ensure both bearings are inserted in the pulley. So there are two two bearings. I thought one of them should go in the other one, but I have to take it out. Well, there are two of those. Uh, very small bearings that you have to put in. So now when the both bearings are in and, and the pulley can rotate freely, the notice the shaft is not very long. So I'm trying to have it in the middle of the middle of the plastic parts. It if I have it flush at this end it goes in very short in the other end, so I'm trying to push it like halfway on both both parts. But I think the shaft might be uh, like three millimeters too short, uh, but uh, I think it's okay though. Uh, the next part is to insert the filament sensor and. Uh, uh, that is the, the small piece of electronics and they tell you to uh, do not touch the, the sensor part uh, so you have to be careful uh, not to uh, touch the, the sensor when you are uh, handling the part but uh, you will need this and you will need uh, one 10, ten millimeter screw and uh, and two three millimeter uh, nuts. So they ask you to insert the nut here. It's a bit difficult to see. But I think the best way to insert the nut is to to place it. Um, on the end of a bolt like this and then push it in then tell you to make sure you insert the nut in correctly and all the way in because you won't be able to reach them when, when the assembly is, is done Then there's another nut on the opposite side that goes in here. And they tell you to use a 
with the bolt from the other side and pull pull the nut in so it is properly aligned with the hole so I think that's a good idea because they go uh, pretty deep into the plastic now they want you to slide in the sensors it goes on in like this and they tell you to not use force from this end you can see the sensor uh, that is uh, in the hole you see it's a bit shiny in the uh, signs in the camera and you take a 10 millimeter screw and uh, secure the, the sensor and this screw is just screwed into the printed part so you have to be uh, careful uh, not to over tighten just make sure you don't uh, damage the PCB and I can see now the, the PCB is aligned and uh, when it's aligned uh, properly the sensor uh, should be shown there you can see the, the reflection of the nut is, is, is here so I think this is a, in a good, good spot and do not want to over tight the sensor because the PCB can break so next step is to uh, insert the idler assembly uh, to the extra extruder body and uh, that has to go uh, in this, uh, this place and I tell you to take a 30 millimeter screw and put uh, the plastic washer the very small plastic washer on this side here uh, then uh, the assembly and then the other washer on the other side here so here they just tell you to put the washer on and that will go into the motor assembly so uh, there's no uh, nut going on this side just make sure you don't drop it off so the next step is to uh, prepare the extruder motor that is the last motor and it has has the extruder marking on them and you have to put the pulley on the motor and this one is the pulley with the set screw so I tell you to rotate it in this way and uh, put the pulley on and, and I tell you to leave uh, a little bit uh, of the shaft inside the pulley and so it's uh, not uh, fully uh, fully inserted so it's like a maybe two millimeter uh, offset and now you mount the, the motor um, that goes uh, the cable uh, facing this part here at the end uh, 30 millimeter screws two of those three uh, three 30 millimeter screws now the, the washer just dropped off so make sure you keep a track on the washer uh, set the motor and now you can align the motor uh, with a screw and I'm just gonna slightly insert the, the nut on the other uh, 
other uh, 30 millimeter screws will go through. No, there are just two two screws. The third one is is the one that was already in, and they tell you to, to over tighten the the screw on the idler because it has to be able to rotate. So that is uh, okay, I think. But those uh, two there are going to be tightened firm firmly. But this one here, the, this one should be able to, to freely move, so you can't over tighten this screw here. Now you have to align the the pulley and tighten it up and you have to make sure the the line uh, of the, the pulley are aligned with the pulley on the motor so you have to have a clear line of sight take a piece of filament and use that to align the the pulleys so you push a filament through the the filament sensor and uh, that has to go through and through the, the plastic like it was going into the the hot end and then you uh, can see uh, uh, the pulley isn't aligned because the filament is going uh, through the two holes but the alignment of the of the wheel is, is not correct so I have to adjust that and they tell you do not use excessive force because it will uh, might damage the threads. But now uh, everything is aligned. So now I can remove the, the filament. How to secure the idler? How to use the uh, springs and the 40 millimeter screws. of those and one spring on its, its screw and the screw goes in from the opposite side and they say that you uh, should screw the both screws in so they are pretty much aligned with the the part so so that's uh, the proper tension tension for it so now everything is aligned so the next one is to prepare the mounting point in step 16 um, take two uh, square nuts and place them you have to push them in a little bit now you have to prepare the extruder cover this uh, this part and you take uh, one square nut one and three nut and two uh, 25 millimeter screws put in the square nut over here that to have to pass out for this one this uh, it doesn't get stuck so now you have to get the hot end and that's step 18 now with the hot end, uh, you 
push it inside and be careful not to break the wires you have to push, push the, the bottom tube a little bit inside and then uh, place the hot end uh, so it's aligned like so so the wires uh, are facing this direction like so now you take the, the cover and make sure to lose this one um, it goes over the, over the hot end and there are two uh, 25 millimeter screws that go in notice the, the nut from this end is, is not uh, grabbing so I have to align it so I have to push against it not going in so now try to align it with a bolt from this side and push it in against the other yep now I got it and I noticed the this dropped out so I have to just keep it stored away until I have to use it. So next step is step 20, to prepare the cooling fans. And the Noctua fan is a hot end cooling fan. And before you mount it, uh, you have to prepare the cable for the extruder motor. And it has to go inside the groove here so uh, the fan will keep it in place and then you take the fan push it against the cable and the label on the fan must be facing downwards away from you so uh, this uh, is a correct way so you have to use uh, four 18 millimeter screws to fasten the, the fan and those uh, screws just go into the plastic so you have to make sure you don't over tighten the screws also make sure the, the cable is, is uh, loose it doesn't clamp underneath the fan itself it must be in the groove and the cable for the fan is facing this way and make sure you can rotate the fan freely and so you don't over tighten or skew the, the housing of the fan and now the, the part cooling fan and now I have to insert the nut that was dropping out in here and, uh, this goes uh, like this and there are 18 millimeter screws that hold those in place I'm just going to use a little bit longer screw just to get, get the nut placed in a good spot just tightened the bolt without the fan and now the nut went into the plastic so that's one way to do it do not over tighten those uh, bolts they will crack the plastic on the fan so now this uh, cable can be put underneath here 
Uh, now, next step is a pinta probe. Um, then you should use a 10 millimeter screw, uh, a square nut, and the pinta probe. So they tell you to handle the pinta probe with care. So do not drop it on the floor. So the, to mount it, they tell you to put the cable for the fan underneath this uh, nuts here and then the cable for the pinta probe to go uh, like in a circle the pinta probe goes in here and the cable should go underneath itself in a circle and into the, the nuts the plastic then insert the square nut 10 millimeter screw and they tell you to uh, adjust the pin to probe position later slightly uh, fasten the, the screw so, so it doesn't drop out but do not tighten it at this point so this will be adjusted later and now the extruder is assembled uh, you have to prepare the cables I tell you it's very important to have the cable in the correct spot when you want want this and I have to lower lower the uh, X axis a little bit so uh, I need to place there's everything here in the front. Um, the two cables coming from the pinta probe and the part cooling fan should go over this uh, smooth rod. And the two cables from the Noctua fan and the extruder come over on the opposite side. So they go over here the cable from the heater, heater block that one is uh, will be under the sm smooth rod so two cables on each side so to mount the extruder you have to get one uh, 40 millimeter screw and one 30 Millimeter screw and one 18 millimeter screw. So now in step 26, you have to mount the extruder. 40 millimeter screw, the longest one, will go on on top. Um, uh, you have to be careful with the connection for the filament sensor. Um, uh, Cables uh, will be arranged later, but so you just uh, uh, carefully insert the screws and, and not tighten them uh, fully. The 30 millimeter screw will go uh, through this hole where the, the belt was. That is gripping. And then finally the 18 millimeter screw will go at the, this, the last uh, hole it goes in here uh, so now they tell you to uh, uh, guide the cables through the slots uh, so there's uh, there's a slot here that the cables have to go through and you have to make sure the cables go through those slots on, on the opposite side here also. So I have to get the cables sorted. It's difficult to get a good camera angle. But uh, the cable... Uh, you have to be careful the cable will not be clamped between the plastic parts. So uh, I'm just trying to align the cable in the correct place. Uh, it's difficult to, to get a proper camera angle. The 
the battery in the main camera went dead again. So it's only the webcams. But now I have a, a wireless uh, lav mic that is connected via USB to the computer, so I don't rely on the audio coming from the camera. So the audio should be the same. I have to change the mic in the first video in step two, but uh, now I can just continue. So now I got the cables aligned correctly. There's a groove in the in the in the platter. The cables should uh, go into and hide some away and on this side it's it's much easier uh, the cables just lie here but uh, here the cable will have to go behind this plastic part in a groove so it was a bit tricky to get the cable at the correct place but now I can tighten the screws Now everything is, is fastened together. So now I have to prepare the back part. This part here. One ten millimeter screw and one fourteen millimeter screw and one uh, nut and the cable holder. So I put in the nut uh, here and they tell you to Tighten it in the, in the plastic. So it goes all the way through and then put the, the nut. And they tell you to take care of the orientation of the nut so it will slide into the plastic. And now we ask you to remove the screw. So this is just to place the, the nut in the correct position. Now I take the 40mm screw and push it through the, the, the cable guide. So it sticks out a little bit in the end. And now you put the, the guide uh, to the holder. So you have to make sure this is uh, oriented in the right way. Uh, now take the cable from the filament sensor. And there are two different uh, types of connectors. So uh, you take the, the green, no sorry, the the one with the LUTs mechanism and uh, connect that to the filament sensor. Make sure the, the side of the sensor cable with the, with the LUTs is on the left side and then uh, make sure the cable goes into this groove uh, underneath. So you have to like, twist the cable a bit and have it like so so it goes under, up underneath into the groove here and now um, you have to take the back of the x cards <coughs> and you have to guide the cables through first take the cable from the extruder the hot end uh, fan and then the cable from the, from the part cooling fan just feeding the cables through and the cable from the hot end and the heat sensor they are not going through this hole uh, now they ask you to push this against the back Make sure the cables are aligned 
properly. If you, if you pull a little bit on the cable, they will uh, go to the correct place. And uh, then make sure the cable from the, the filament sensor is not clamped in between the plastic parts. You have to be careful there. And then you will take two 10 millimeter screws uh, to hold this in place. Just make sure you don't clamp down on the cable at the top. So I'm just double checking the cables can move uh, freely and are not clamped because I don't want to damage the cables. So now when you make sure the cables are uh, not clamped. You will take four, four screws. So this is much more secure mechanism than the MK2 uh, part where the bearings were held in place with zip ties and uh, the whole assembly was just fixed with zip ties on the on the rods so now this uh, part is clamping down on the bearing and this is getting pretty tight so now uh, I have to take the nylon filament you got there are two two filaments you use the longer longer one in this step and they tell you to create a tip by cutting a side sideways into it like you do with the filament when you load it and now you have to find a hole you see I'm gonna get a flashlight to have a better look. Yeah, the hole is just beneath the belt. So if you have a flashlight, you can use that to guide the filament in. So I think I've got it in the right place. So now I'll tell you to get the plastic wrappings. And use the largest wire wraps and get uh, get all the cables uh, together so to, uh, <coughs> do not take the cables from the from the hot end just the uh, x carrots so I tell you to rotate the, the wrappings uh, all the way in so the will be flush against the, the plastic it goes all, all the way in as far as you can push it and even they tell you if you can try to get it into the back so I've got it like a one millimeter inside the, the back of the carriage yeah they ask you to uh, Make sure you orient everything correctly because this will uh, clash into the electronic box if not done correctly. So uh, there are two sets of holes, uh, one row in, in the bottom and one row at the top and uh, from the picture uh, you have to put it in the in the bottom row, those three zip ties, and orient them like this, and uh, tighten those, and have uh, at the end uh, meet up on this side, and in the innermost uh, 
that should uh, be at the bottom. And the other two uh, should be on the left cor corner at corner. So <coughs> the ship has our uh, one, the most is at the bottom, the other two are here at the top side facing where the power supply is going to be. So uh, this is uh, the correct way to do it. Now they tell you to uh, tighten the spoiler wrap uh, uh, and put uh, two zip ties underneath uh, for the hot end cables. And, uh, they should be facing uh, like so and going inside. Uh, we'll go uh, we'll go underneath like so. And the cable goes down to the hole and they just tell you to make sure the, the cable from the thermistor and the hot end are underneath the zip ties so you don't just pull the zip ties through and have no cables and from the picture the end should be facing downwards so make sure the cable is, is going goes from the hot end and there is a zip tie on the cable uh, already a small one and uh, just make sure you don't uh, pull on too tight on the cable and, and then just tighten those so the cable is, is straight underneath so now they tell you to uh, finalize the spoiler wrap uh, and put the hot end cable in, into the bundles and they show it uh, like there's like one uh, one circle of the plastic wraps before they insert the insert the hot end cable and it's best to try to have the cables uh, straight I'm not uh, crisscrossing a lot, it will just make it difficult to uh, wrap around. So. I'll try to maintain the, the cables in a good uh, untangled way. And if you have to uh, replace a cable at a later time, it's easier. Uh, to have everything sorted out beforehand. So I think this is uh, pretty good. And the plastic uh, uh, plastic filament is, is uh, starting out and the cables are all coming out. So I think this is a, a good ship. So now you have to do step 43 to mount the filament sensor cover and that is uh, uh, those few parts. Uh, I ask you to, to place this small uh, plastic uh, where the filament goes. You don't have to push it very far in. Just basically set it down here and uh, make sure you don't push too hard. I was uh, maybe pushing too hard on it. So this will go here. Uh, then I'll take the cover and, and place that on top. Uh, and uh, using two 10 millimeter screws. 
to secure it in place. Those two screws are just in, into the plastic part, so don't over tighten. And I think they're in a good place. Uh, now we take the, the idler plug uh, and put it. Uh, yeah, just put it over like so. Just a small cover. And now you have to put on the fan nozzle. Uh, this part this is a step 47, so you will need uh, the fan nozzle and one 10 millimeter screw. So now you uh, put this in place. And it's held by a one uh, 10 millimeter screw. This screw is also just fastened into the plastic, so do not over tighten. See uh, how this one shroud is different from the MK2 one shroud. So now uh, the E axis is, is finished, the extruder assembly. So uh, this will uh, conclude this part. Uh, in the next video, I will carry on with the next step of the build. And I think that is. Uh, the LCD panels. So I'll see you in the next one.